Hey, what's up, Red Guys? It is Sick, and today we're going to talk about Explore.Mac by Denethor. This thing's been in the works for quite a while. I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen us bitch moan and complain about <laughs> debugging this thing and getting all the routes right and going through all, all the headache and uh, blood, sweat, and tears. That we've... Anyway, whatever. Uh, it's, it's pretty good. So I'm going to show you what a route looks like. There's a lot of considerations that uh, you need to know about. So Denethor is going to have up a post like I have in the screen that way. Um, so you definitely want to give that a read. Things in there like, you know, ensuring that you have a mercenary up once you get to like underfoot plus. If you don't, you're going to get your ass beat and uh, it's not going to be a fun time. Now your tune's going to mostly invis, um, but uh, I'll explain some of that here once we get this started. Okay, so let's MQ clear this bad boy. Okay. So our MQ window is clear. If I were to run this for the first time, if I were to run this macro for the first time, I would just do slash Mac space explore and it would start up and it would just do the whole route. Or if I've already done some routes, it would read from the INI file that I've already completed some routes and then it would just go to the ones that I don't have. But uh, I'm not gonna, it's, it's about 13 plus hours to run everything. So I'm gonna, just gonna do Mac explore TBM and uh, we'll run this TBM route real quick for you guys so you can see how it works. So it's starting up right now. It's checking to see if we have uh, invis clickies or AAs. If not, cloudy potions. Now, I'm a rogue, so we're going to use hide and sneak instead. So it doesn't matter for us. Uh, but off we go. So some of the considerations we were talking about before. Um, you need a little bit of babysitting. Uh, most of these routes are very, very clean. And we're not going to run into any problems. But... MQ2 nav dynamically updates as you move around. So when you go from point A to point B, it's recalculating as you go. And uh, sometimes, depending on whatever, uh, it may zig when it thought it was going to zag. And it's impossible to plan for all of that. Um, a good portion, the majority, everything we found thus far, we've you know, made corrections and hard-coded either connectors or preferences or spots to avoid so we don't get stuck. Um, but we're going to have uh, two hotkeys we want everyone to make who's going to run this. Uh, you can see them on my UI here. Um, it's a pause button and an unpause button. And what these are going to do, they're going to simultaneously pause the macro and pause navigation and then unpause both as well. And what that'll allow you to do is if you do get stuck, it's not going to try to force keep running into a wall and make it so you can't back off and move around. So you'll just be able to hit your pause button, wiggle your tune out of whatever mess you're in, and, uh, and back off you go. So uh, anyway, like I said, right now we're running TBM route, and it's just going to keep on doing its thing. Now this has a lot of um, uh, shrink clickies already plugged in here. It has invis clickies plugged in here and uh levitation stuff if you don't have any of those things it'll buy stuff from the bazaar uh it'll buy filter of the ant potions uh you'll go to the little shaman merchant and get potions of the cloudy or cloudy potions whatever they're called um and you'll also buy some uh the levitation potions um but uh this is kind of how it looks we have spent literally hundreds of hours going through this crap i have looked at a blue slash yellow line doing this for hundreds of hours um but i don't know if you just caught this so when we went through this door just now we actually opened the door now i had just recorded a different video for this and i forgot to update this computer with uh, all of the updates to explore.mac because I've, I have a I made a dedicated computer just to do this this damn thing and um, I wanted to do this to, on this one to record the video but I forgot to update it so I just, I'm going over stuff I'm like ah oh, we're doing explore.mac and it's so special and then it sat at the door I'm like why the hell isn't it clicking the damn door and it's because the stuff wasn't uh, stuff wasn't updated but um, as you can see, it's set to be able to update doors and, uh, or excuse me, open doors and run through stuff and all that jazz. But we're just, we're going to continue this run now. And, uh, hi, buddy. Doggers wants to say hi. 
It's not food time yet, dude. And we gotta do the we gotta do the explore dot Mac. Do you have your boots? You ready to level up your boots? Um, so as you can see, every time we uh, run to are running to a new uh, new zone, it'll say we're heading to and tell us where we're heading to. And uh, every time we start a new route, it'll tell us the new route. Um, again, Denethor has those kind of guidelines of uh, stuff to take into consideration when running this macro. Things like um, it'll bind your character in the guild lobby if you're not already bound there. And whatever you do, do not decide halfway through doing all the explore stuff you want to rebind somewhere else. Because that'll just uh, it'll make everybody cry. And uh, there's been enough tears in this thing. I don't need to cry anymore. But uh, yeah, so right now we've pretty much finished our route. And we're going to head back to, uh, to POK. Um, now a lot of the times it'll just gate us out. Or it'll use uh, uh, you know translocation potions to get us out. But uh, this is kind of, this is how it works. Just does all this little blue line. But um, it's great. So I don't know what else to say. We didn't script anything out. I wasn't sure if I wanted to do a full video and just fast forward through all of the running and all of that nonsense. But uh, I figured just demonstrating a quick route, how to run, basically run the thing. Just like, hey, I want to run a route. How do I run a route? Um, and again, it's very simple. Um, you can do Mac, explore, and then either just leave it like that. It'll run everything that you haven't run before. Or if you want to do Mac explore, you know, TDS, TSS, TBM, TBL, you, for some reason you really like all the T's, it'll run all of those in that order. Um, that way, if you just, you know, you want to get the ones that you don't have yet, maybe you don't have a couple, you just don't want to run them. Some of the routes are really long. Uh, there's a couple of routes that are well over an hour long. Um, like Ruins of Kunark is over an hour long. Um, let's see. Reign of Fear is over an hour long. Uh, SOL is about 45 minutes. Northeast Antonica is 40 minutes. I'm looking at the list here of all the all the completion times that I have. Um, some of these, some of these routes are pretty long. Um, like I said, the overall time for this entire thing is somewhere around 13 hours. And that's this, this particular character. I don't have TDS access, so it skipped all the TDS zones. So that's probably another 20 minutes. Um, and then I don't have VP access and it doesn't have a lot of TBL access. So it skipped a bunch of stuff. So it's probably probably knocked off a good, at least a good twenty minutes uh, from from that already at thirteen hours. So I'm guessing it's probably somewhere somewhere just shy of fourteen hours for the whole route. But as you can see here, it says we have completed the broken mirror explorer route of our tour, and we ran for six minutes and thirty five seconds. It put our nav uh, settings back to whatever we had it before. And if we had to load any plugins that we don't normally have loaded, it'll it'll put those back to how they were before. But that is that is Explore Mac, and um, hopefully we'll uh, hopefully everything will be smooth for everybody. But um, I'm gonna turn this over to Denethor and let him do his Denethorliness, and uh, we'll go from there. I appreciate you guys very very much. Um, otherwise, we definitely wouldn't put all this time into this because it's been. Ah, it's been a lot. See you soon.